Alrighty then, we are gonna fucking start Ragnarok. Fuck it, we're gonna start Ragnarok. I wanna know what happened. I wanna know what Ragnarok looks like. Okay, ready when you are. So yeah, I wanna know what the fuck is going on. And how is this, how big is this army gonna be? <laughs> I'm fucking excited. The armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kinda hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as Tyr. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. What the fuck? There's Valkyries? Wow. What? The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him, but there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Mimir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... Sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Fuck, man. <laughs> Shield maidens. Okay, they're no longer called Valkyries. Alright. But the secret knows? Hildy. Come join us. Have a seat. I miss anything? I was just telling him about the time I asked you to play damsel in distress. <laughs> okay. Then <laughs> then when she had them distracted, I jumped in, heroic. And together we did them all down. There must have been a hundred. I don't know, maybe more. Spare us your gloating. Does it really bother you that some of my ideas actually work? No, but... I do envy you. <laughs> In what realm? Spare me the patronizing. I've calculated every risk I've ever taken. Tried to mitigate all the ways it could go wrong. And still, it all falls apart. You... You just throw yourself into situations in harm's way, and somehow it always works out for you. You always end up all right with that stupid grin. I'd argue my trip to Asgard didn't go quite so well. Yes, there are some lessons to be learned by planning, and others by learning to adapt. That's why you two were such a great team. I'd argue it's because we had such a lousy old man. Son, it's true Njord was not much of a father. 
But he's the reason we were able to be a family. Yeah. Funny you should be so hard on him, Freyr, since you inherited his wanderlust. Especially in times of importance. That's not true. I had good reason for leaving those times. Tell her. <sighs> I have missed this. Alright. I was gonna say... Like, Sigrid doesn't... Like... I know Mimir and Sigrid were like lovers, but... It didn't look like she was in love with him. Like, she doesn't even know him. <sighs> oh. Are on? you nervous, love? I'm nervous. What if they don't accept us? What if they don't follow us into battle? I mean, in their eyes, we're an abomination. And how is that our problem and not theirs? The Uniter has spoken. That should be enough. They will follow. And if it's not enough? Then I will make them. <laughs> that sounds like the elf I fell in love with. You're shivering. I'm cold. We can leave for Alfheim now, if you want. No. No, I'd like to stay here for as long as we can. Alright. I don't know why, but they, they remind me of the mummies. Like, they're all wrapped. I don't know why they're wrapped. Oh yeah, the Sigrid doesn't like... Like, it's happy with Mimir or something like that. Hey, they don't talk. I hope, I hope they, were, they talk. Wait, who else talks in here? I want to hear some dialogues. What about you two? Hello. Oh. It's been a while. Ready to face Odin's endless army? Endless. Me and Heriar. When they die, they return to Valhalla to be reborn again. And the cycle continues. So get some rest. I leave for Helheim soon, but I'll see you on the battlefield. Good luck. Oh, are these the ones? Well, I thought she got like new Valkyries, but it looked like they're all the ones I faced before. What about we you? Meet again. I never thanked you properly for freeing me and my sister so many winters ago. It had to be done. No, it didn't. But you did it anyway. And now, because of our queen, we finally have a chance to strike back at the man who did it to us. I am happy to fight by your side. Okay, okay, they, they don't, uh, you know, like, angry that I took off their wings? Hello? My, your son's grown since I last saw him. Looking more and more like you by the day. A handsome young man. You should be proud. I am. Alright. That's pretty much it. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? I didn't know he was smaller than me. <laughs> I thought he was asleep, like he went to go to his tent. I thought I was by myself. <laughs> Holy shit. That kind of scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. So yeah, Mimir, I don't think your girl wants to get back with you. Or she's being a little, uh, you know, hard to get right now. Is there anything down here? Like anyone down here? Alright, let's go to sleep. I want to know what the uh, Sindri actually got. You know, like some kind of uh, the dwarf army. I actually want to fucking see them. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I could never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? I fall asleep. Promise you'll finish it tomorrow. Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he wore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us. Leading us home? Has my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. <laughs> mm. 
You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not in purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me, whenever that day comes, for you and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. When you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, General. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Oh shit, we're actually become the general, holy shit. So yeah, I was gonna say, was that a dream? Or was that like, well, it is a dream, but. I don't know, I thought it was like I was talking to her, like, oh, Kratos was trying to find answers and why the prophecy all that, but she knew she was gonna die, fuck. This will be of use. <laughs> General Kratos, what the fuck? Y'all feeling oh. uh, crafty? What you have? Fate breaker, shoulder guard. But oh, my defense. My defense. I need my defense, man. But, uh, let's see, uh, do I have, yeah, I have a resurrection stone. I'm, I fucking might need it, fuck. Okay, fully upgraded that one, what about my, no, fortified ribbon, where the fuck do I get that? Uh, oh, what good. was I thinking? Of course you got your armor all set, just... Go win. That's all that matters. Okay. Oh, do you think it wise to go off without stocking up? You may never get a chance again. I'm so sorry that was dark. <laughs> I'm not gonna die, am I? General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. What the fuck? They all calling me General and said Freya. He, he called me Bud. <laughs> all of Freya's like that. <laughs> well, n well, maybe he liked the Bud, but maybe not the General thing. Or Sir. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh, go to the... the, the. To Asgard. Okay. Is this the Asgard door? When I came to these lands to escape my past, to start a new life, I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin earns too, might as well be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock.
And if Bolton goes after Niflheim next... They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. We've got to stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. work to do. You three, follow them. Treyas. Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. The war machines. Oh, shit! He was the one the master way. of the sword? He's like... Oh, no, he's flying like fucking Thor. Oh, shit. Careful, brother. You're coming by my car. Push forward. All right, I'll push you forward. I'll push you forward. This one down not looking so good. There's still time. We have to. No. Is that our dogs? <laughs> Angry Boda. What the fuck? Oh shit! What's our next plan, brother? We have no other plan. Our focus remains on the war machines. We should head for the flaw behind the Asgard Tower. Without Ragnarok, it's our only chance to break through the wall. Beat the flaw! If they'd only suffer on you, how to use it. Switching arrows! Okay, they hit me. Oh! Oh shit! Where the fuck did that come from? Oh my god! How, how many fucking armies? I love. The war machines. We use them to breach the flaw. Strike the city with our allies. Sounds desperate. Good. Desperation is our advantage. Would have preferred a realm destroying fire giant, but I suppose desperation is better than nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Holy fuck, I hate it. I was gonna be like this. Holy shit. A fucking dragon? Is that our dragon or theirs? Oh, what the fuck? Was that? It was. Odin's new Valkyrie queen is Gnar. This complicates things. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Okay, it's not ours. I believe it's not ours. Another path! Careful, brother. You're covered in my cross. Fuck you, bitch! I'm gonna use this to kill you! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Here. Jormungandr! I 
welcome sight, but he didn't follow us from Midgard. Curious. He'll keep Thor busy at least. <laughs> oh my god. Are they actually fighting? <laughs> oh shit. I wanna see this, what's going on? Is this a loop? Looks like a loop. They sound eager. Good. Come find you. Fuck, I want to see this fight. Ah, fuck. Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind later. The Ain Herjars link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Mm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. <laughs> See the fucking snake that we were fucking brought back with the giant soul? So what's the plan? How are we gonna breach the wall without Ragnarok? The war machines. Oh, so we're pretty desperate, huh? That was fucking Freya said. Careful, what the brother. fuck? You're covered in my thoughts. This hurdle. It looks like it's hurting. The guy in the top. Dragon isn't on our side. How the fuck he took my dragon? Get out of here, bitch. Your friend. She She'll be fine. We got more important things to worry about. Even if we can breach the wall. Perhaps it is better this way. Better for who? God damn, uh, Renry, they almost thought they used his fucking powers! Oh! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bitch! He's still fighting. What's this one? The uh, what's going here. on here? Way to go, Sindri! Ah! It's just Sindri! <laughs> what happened? What happened to the dwarves? I wanna see the dwarf army, damn it! I'm late! Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Then we Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the wall. Fine. Leave it 
to the dwarves to clean up after the giant. I thought I'd get. I'm getting so angry. Fuck. I'm hoping that we, we uh, like get a friendly conversation, but fuck. Look at it. Enemies down. Bloody time he showed up. what you wanted I, I didn't want this no close your heart to it close your heart who are they my guardians Odin took them in they shouldn't be here they're not soldiers Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What, what are you doing? Size of that thing? Well, I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we. We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Rimpa's flaw. With what army? Petraeus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice. Not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not by us before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Oh, we're Atreus. Sindri. Can we talk? 
Sentry, be careful and stay behind me. You be careful. I'm here to fight. <laughs> Can I just say? No, you can't. Shut up and fight. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Sentry. Come on. Let's talk about They're actually distracting uh, the fucking, fucking Ragnarok, what the fuck? you want. This changes nothing. You really had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. <laughs> Sentry, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us. Knowing they can't fight, their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. Even the Guardians. Your friend, our family, any of us. I'd hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? Throod. I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... Was our own. We can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong.
He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. You don't owe him your death. <laughs> no shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. Damn it! It's not like there's death all around us or anything. Shoot! I'm shooting! You're not gonna say anything to her? Who is the girl? Hi! Through Thor's daughter! Thor's daughter? Oh. I 
like him. I see that little hut that he's living at. Fuck, fuck. Oh shit. We kill a dragon? Or Atreus? <laughs> I just saw that and someone got crushed. Fuck, I thought it was crazy. <laughs> I click R3. Cutscene, what, what's going on? Uh, where's that little is that the little hut? No, that's multiple houses. What's going on? Uh oh. The Great Lodge. That's where we gotta go. That may not be our biggest problem right now. Roman Gander! Get back to your sister. You must hold back Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just... Take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you. So I trust you. Stay away from her! Can I wait? I am done! With you and your son! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. We do not need to do this! We do! It's no, we don't, Devin! Ah, fuck 
you! Then you're me! One of us dies today! Sin won't be me! Oh, whoa, 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 what the fuck was that? Isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk. You don't think. I think you kill. It's a simple fucking concept. Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill. I did not want this. No! Rude. This was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Your own son? You ran on it! Why? Rude, 
it's gonna be fine. I say, that one's on you. You turned him against me. You turned them all against me. Oh shit! I say, who's better than bitch? Your spear or my spear? Fuck you! I give you a new eye. Or I get your other eye. There we go. Odin's oh, we can't stop him. Give me my man. Sure. Trust you. Sounds like a great idea. Kill this bastard. Did you brush? You come to my land. Turn my family against me. What can I lock onto? That's weird. Oh shit. You started this fight! No, no, no! This all started long before you showed up! You are no Ooh. A plague! God! Killer! This is what you want! Right? Doing that bullshit. You get that back. Thor was more better than you, bitch. Fucking okay, bestie, kill your own son. Guess he won't listen. Find your brother. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! Motherfucker! I don't believe it. <laughs> 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 So, was this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Not quite. Yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell. I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. <laughs> But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! That's my freak. I forgot how good you look with wings. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. <laughs> Bow to your queen. I always loved you, you know. You've never loved anyone. Real Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Groa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on the mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation. Unfold the secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask. Loki, ask it, ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! No! So be it. Attack! Okay! You waited a long time for oh, this. Oh shit! Colored you, Frick. So have I! Too late for that! We're gonna get one bitch! Uh, what's that? He's coming to I've seen that before, bitch. Everything I killed more. I just wanted answers. Give me 
Listen, you admitted that you killed many people for that answer. I got it! If you just played your part, none of this would have happened! Oh, I did all four! Answer me, Loki! Run did all four! Oh, 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 oh. Fuck it, bastard! You use these on our son too? I'll try a guilt, guilt trip here. Uh, uh, what's going on? Do I still fight him? There we go. our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apfra, Desu, Sofna. Ethan. Sofna. 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 I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. He's here.
Follow me, quickly! supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Air. What happened? What happened? I want to know what happened. Fuck. <laughs> Where the fuck she go? Ah, oh, she's over here. Kind of weird. I was like, she disappeared. Is this the Midgardians? Like, what happened? Did Freire actually die? I hope he didn't. Fuck. Where are we? Is this Midgard? Please don't tell me Freire died. God damn it. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Hush. Throat. I won't. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea. And. I'm sorry. Thor. He was. He tried. You know? I'm sorry. I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim to help rebuild. And I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and Throod. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Okay, I was just looking around to Where see you. Were you doing your weapons damaged in the battle? I think they're fine. Maybe a couple nicks here and there. Well, we can have them looked at later. Eh, we might not need to. Nonsense. A shield maiden needs all her tools in working order. That Seagrin would probably chew you out if they were dull. Oh, she would, would she? <laughs> I know I certainly would. I also know you would. I was checking if she has Thor's hammer. Maybe that's what she's trying to look for. Her father's hammer. Oh, no. What happened to the, the Valkyrie Queen? The new one, the Odin one. She chased after uh, uh, Fenrir and it, I forgot her name. What the fuck? Huh. Lugan made it out. Good for him. Motherfucker? You alive? You're not gonna kill me if get revenge for your master, are you? Oh, and if you can get this wood over to Brana's tent, she. Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was. Blur. Maybe that was someone else. 
Anyway, man, I I'm just, I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Is he a leader? <laughs> it sounds like he's the leader of the, the group. Oh, oh, you guys there made it out. He is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh, when we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are going to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. What you say, you? God damn it. Y'all remember that time old Ski Swathnir caught on fire? <laughs> if I remember correctly, it was you who lit it on fire in the first place. Well, uh, we're not, not on purpose. How was I supposed to know it was so easily flammable? It wasn't. You were showing off that enchanted bellows of yours and sparks flew everywhere. Ha <laughs> ha, that is what happened, isn't it? <laughs> oh, old boss man. Oh my! <laughs> I want to know what happened to the the elves. Do they, you know, know about what prayers? I'm that? pleased to see you awake, Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. I remember there was the prophecy that he's supposed to die. What happened to that prophecy? Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me, mentored me, and, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Huh. I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Eldis Vini. So we're not gonna have a conversation that I'm the one... You, you sent us our path and you let us meet Freya? <laughs> Say, I shot you? I hear you're headed to Vanaheim for the Aesir. That's correct. Huh. Never thought I'd see the day Vanir and Aesir existed in peace. How optimistically presumptuous of you. I suppose so. We offered to take them in, but I don't expect things to be easy right away. Well, something to work towards. Civility is certainly a start. I don't know what happened to Sindri. After he, like, 
actually destroy Odin's, you know, soul? Or destroy the... nice down here, huh? No loud noises. We're okay. You did so good today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I... I just... don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. This is for you too. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are too. Uh, what vision that he's talking about? I, I don't remember he's having a vision. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Uh... Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people to protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. If 
Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust? Who to call friend? Son, you are ready. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains. Yeah.
see in there, brother? Probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos. She hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find and she finds us. And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull! Skull. A few dozen per cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General, Lady Freya, Mimir, my lady. Shield maidens. Bless Athor. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. One final word. We wish to offer condolences. What for? For your family. Your brother. We didn't mean to pry, sister. Mm -hmm. It was a lifetime ago. Memories and... Ruins. 
I'm surprised there was anything left. I just wish you had told me. I would have understood. I... What's done is done, dear Mimir. I appreciate your kind words. I didn't talk because of the, 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 the credits. Beyond Ragnarok, Ragnar Ragnarok is over, but much remains for Kratos and Freya and Mimir. Explore the surviving realms to discover the remnants of Asgard. Test your my, uh, mental in the Crucible of Missile Pipe. Seek out the Freezeum Berserker Souls. Complete favors for your friends and allies' adventure and challenge. Mystery awaits. Where the task are awaits with a new uh, seed to travel through the realm. Where the fuck is a giant ass thing? First. We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we're with you, brother. The last remnant of Asgard. I want, I want to see the last remnant. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern and Svartalfine. I'd like to go. We'll do that after this. Where is it? Wait, what the fuck? The last remnant of Asgard. Why is that one red? Yeah, why are they red? We're never gonna meet the fucking turtle. I wanna I wanna see the turtle. <laughs> Mamir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Kildasvini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Krasfelder. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he told off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Mamir, what exactly did you promise the large bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. It's just that she'd like to retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And don't ask me what she expects to do with her free time. I assure you, there is no reassuring answer. Can she even do that? Not be Hell? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become Hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather. Infinite hours and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. So... Are you telling me Mimir's gonna be the new, uh... person to look after... Hell? It's here, isn't it? Your skills. Oh. Shit, I should have done something for this. Inspect. Uh. The uh, damage. But I just used it on the crucible. Oh, this is lunch. Freya, something is on your mind. What is it? Freya's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freya had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. But how did Odin got the sword? 
It only killed like the, the person he loved and he took it? Is he up here? Oh. God damn it. Is this like the hut? All right, bitch. Careful, brother. You're covered in vibe Oh. Yar will continue to be a nuisance for the realms. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? Only one way to find out. One of ten, holy shit. Fuck. Fuck. Is there any way to meet the turtle? I want to meet the turtle, damn it. How the fuck do I meet the turtle? Uh, he said the tavern. Oh, there's one here. Fuck. Can I go here? Oh, let's go back to the red tasker. He has a seed for me. So yeah. Uh, I, I didn't expect this is gonna be happening. Freya, you spoke of your brother's sword. How did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin, uh disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freya from his sword. <laughs> oh, with embarrassing speed. <laughs> I am glad Freya ultimately retrieved it. Me too. My little oh. fool. <laughs> so he was in love with fucking Odin? What the fuck? Uh, I was gonna say, I didn't expect the game to be, you know, end. Look like you, the, the, the Norse, the. Uh, like this game's gonna end, it's gonna be like a different game, like different gods, all that. I'm kinda curious, what what next game, if they make one? Where? You may tell a story, if you wish. Am I preferable to silence at last? Oh, damn. Day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one in my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Aye, women, drink, mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance, for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, 
sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries, how could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? How could you break your vow like it was nothing, carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony? The laird just smiles. Brother, I sent that lass down across the river. Tis you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. A rare day indeed. God damn. <laughs> Look in the mirror. Hi, Fredo. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in neither Valir. We will be there. Hell of a job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take damn Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but it's the story I like best. Important thing is, Odin's paid in full for what he did to Brock. I know it doesn't fix what's broke, but it ain't nothing. Hello, Lunda. Hey, you goddess. Uh, about your brother. I never got the chance to tell you. I, I know moments like this you're supposed to say sorry and whatnot, but I always known that pretty, pretty man had greatness in him. That he'd do something amazing one day, and I'm just... You know, I'm proud that now the Nine Realms know it, too. I... I thank you. Anytime, ma'am. See what you have. Anything new? Oh, sword. My lady. Relics. Ultra Project. And turn the near discomfort into a Bifrost Blast against nearby enemies. What? Uh, Brock and Sindri carefully measured and construct a harness to weaponize the smartest man alive. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Holger Project number nine. Oh, let me see this. Uh... Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect him to do that. Fuck. <laughs> My God. The goddamn bastards. <laughs> oh. Even the, even you see the agony of the pain. Oh shit. Sorry, I'm so very fucking revered. I didn't expect that. Alright. Oh shit, there was a dead body. In here? Oh, yeah. Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. Wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling and from that day on called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. God, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. 
This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sfared Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. Oh, fuck. Wait, where's Sindri? I want to talk to him. Is it? Are those three the only way? Where are the other dwarves? They don't like them? Those fucking bastards? Oh! Oh shit! I forgot they have fucking atheists Careful, brother! You're covered in bifrost! It's drop! Suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. What's that there? <laughs> we go. Just a shortcut. Right. No. The flower. <laughs> oh. Sparkling. Oh, is that? I, I I I pretty much forgot about that. <laughs> what the fuck? How the fuck are you up here there? Oh wait wait wait! That that's the way out. I forgot. Wait, was it that that way out or was it? No, that was it. that was. It. Oh shit. You're here when there's enemies here, what the fuck? Y'all are probably gonna wanna see. I'll find desert. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know where it is. Thanks for collecting that. <gasps> Did I miss this? I think I missed it before. Something we have to see. Does it have to do something with the jellyfish? <laughs> God damn it. You know what I'm sad about is that Atreus left. That a Cavassia poem. Never heard of this one. God damn it, Atreus. 
He has to go find it, find more of a giant, uh, I don't know, marbles. But, oh, I think they wanted us to die. Because Faye, uh, Atreus' mother, she like went back and went against her peoples. Because of the vision they saw, they, they, they wanted. So she changed the future. So why is he going to try to help him out? He wanted Kratos to die. He wanted his own father to die. Damn it. What is wrong? I should have changed. Sewn some morning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
Sentry. Blackpuss. It's bigger the more you take away. like the end end they didn't know okay but fuck okay what why did rock have to die he was like the funniest one ever fuck he have been someone else not Sindri or brock shit damn it 